Today's lesson is topic 10.7, dividing four digit numbers by one digit numbers. The objective for today is that I will estimate and find quotients for four digit dividends and one digit divisors. The problem we're gonna look at says, a high school football stadium has six sections that each seat the same number of people. The total of one, a total of 1,950 people can be seated at a stadium. How many people can fit into each section? Well, we know that there's gonna be an equal number. So for today's lesson, because we're working with numbers that are much larger, we're gonna go back to our estimating and then we're gonna come up with our actual answers from there. Well, sometimes it's easy to guess and check with our estimations, okay? So if you notice for this estimation, we have guessing and checking. So they did six times three, which was 18, and adding the two zeros makes it 1,800. Well, we see that that's a little less than what our actual number is, so we're gonna go above that and do six times four. Six times four was 24 with two zeros, which that is more than what it actually would be. But my actual answer would be somewhere between 300 and 400 people in each section. Another way to estimate would be to look at this, and so I have 1,950 divided by six. If you remember our lesson from a few units ago, or last unit actually, we would underline our first two digits and then I look at my six. Well, I need a number that is easily divisible with six. So something, I would more than likely go to my multiplication chart, look at my sixes, go down until I find something close to 19. For now, it is okay if it's more. Well, I know that six goes into 18 evenly, so I could estimate this to be 18. So 1,800 divided by six to give me the estimate of 300 people. So my actual answer would need to be somewhere close to 300. Then we're ready to actually start dividing our actual answers. So for this one, we would have 1,950 divided by six. I'm gonna do this on another page to give us a little bit more space. So 1,950 divided by six. Well, my steps always apply, which I will continue to work step by step through. Six does, goes into one zero time, so then I look at the first two digits. Six goes into 19. Three times, six times three is 18. Now I'm ready to subtract. 19 minus 18 gives me my one. One is less than six, so I'm ready to bring down just the digit next to my um, place value that I was just working with. So now I've done through all of my steps, so I am ready to start back over. So this time I'm looking at 15 and six. So how many times does six go into 15? Well, I know that that is two, because six times two is 12. And then I subtract 15 minus 12 gives me my three, okay? My three is less than six, so I'm good to go and I'm ready to bring down the last place value I have. So if you notice, long division is just simply repeating the same steps over and over again. My biggest tip for you would be to make sure that every single time when you are subtracting, that you are always checking off your steps. So I'm ready to divide again. So how many times does six go into 30? Well, that's five times, because six times five is 30. And then I'm ready to subtract, and I get zero. So in this answer would be 325 remainder zero. So exactly 325 students, would be, or people, would be able to sit in each section of the stadium that we are talking about. Now we're gonna look at this problem. It says to estimate and solve. Okay, so I'm looking at 2,871 divided by nine. First thing I want to estimate, so I look at 28 and 9. So how many times is 9 going to 28? Again, I'm trying to think of a compatible number, so a number that would be easy to work with that goes in evenly to 9. Well, oops. Well, I know that 9 goes into 27 because 3 times 9 is 27. So I could estimate 27 and 9. So again, be 27 divided by nine would give me three with two zeros. So my answer needs to be close to 300. So this time we're gonna do 2871 divided by nine. And again on this one, 
9 does not go into 2, so it's 0. 9 times 0 would be 0. But I'm going to continue and actually just look at this. So 9 goes into 27 3 times. 9 times 3 would be, or I'm sorry, <laughs> well, yes. But 9 times 3 gives me 27. 28 minus 27 would be 1. One is less than nine, so I'm ready to bring down just the next place value, which would be a seven. So nine goes into 17 one time, because nine times one would be nine. If I subtract 17 minus nine, I would get, I would get eight. Eight is still less than nine, so I'm good, and now I'm ready to bring down my one. Now I'm looking at restarting my steps all over again, and I have 81 divided by 9. So how many times does 9 go in 81? It actually goes in evenly 9 times, because 9 times 9 is 81. So my answer would be a remainder of 0, 319 remainder 0. I would like for you to try and solve both of these problems. I want you to try and estimate on just this first problem and on the second one I want you to just solve okay first one you're gonna estimate and solve and the second one you're only gonna solve 